Switching gears now, the Trinidad and Tobago Coast Guard has launched an investigation into an incident at sea that has left one Grenadian needing surgery. And the Coast Guard and the officers who were involved in the incident have been sent on leave. Last Wednesday, eight crew members on the vessel, which usually travels to Trinidad every week to conduct trade, were met with hostility by TNT Coast Guard officers, which escalated into the assault of the crew's captain and one crew member. The crew member was reported to be seriously injured and required surgery. Speaking in the Senate on Tuesday, the Minister of National Security said preliminary interviews have been conducted with the Coast Guard personnel who were all involved in the incident. The Trinidad and Tobago Coast Guard interceptor crew involved in the incident has been removed from seagoing duties until the conclusion of the investigations. Further, the assistance of an independent investigatory body from the Defense Force headquarters has been sought to carry out an in-depth investigation. Now he went on to say the local team has contacted the investigator from Grenada so that arrangements can be made to interview crew members of that vessel. Meanwhile, in Grenada, Foreign Affairs Minister Oliver Joseph said he believes the incident is an isolated one and should not affect trade with the island's CARICOM neighbor. However, he said the owner of the boat involved in the incident intends to take legal action. The boat owner, he gave me his side of the story. He's actually to, as he informed me, he that he will be taking legal action, which is his right to. Um, I am talking to government to government based on our relations with Trinidad. We have good friendly relations and therefore the Trinidad government, as I said, is extremely concerned about the incident. Um, it's only a few days ago it took place, so we have had no update since then um, on the investigation, but he promised to keep me posted uh, um, when, on the progress.